Okay, uh, welcome to Mob Guppy, where the guppy is the mob. Look at all these little fatties. They're just about to be fed, and we're going to feed them while running a camera one-handed. Can it be done? Well, it can probably be done. Can it be done well? Well, <laughs> that's for you to decide. If you've not subscribed to the Mob Guppy channel, this is your opportunity, because these guppies... They love views. They love views a lot. And they are, as you see, little hungry bunnies. And they love the baby brine shrimp. So, again, if you've not uh, subscribed, if you've not rang that bell, did you ring the bell? Ring the bell. And then uh, you'll know when uh, new content goes on. Uh, Monday, not actually, not Monday, sa Saturday night, 6 o'clock Central at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. It'll be the Mob Guppy uh, Saturday Hangout. And so I look to, forward to having you there, you, 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 and especially you. And uh, we'll talk about some of the happenings here in the fish room. And hopefully I'll have these aquariums down here. Uh, loaded up. They're ready to go. I just I uh, haven't done it. And quite frankly, you can see all these baby guppies. Yeah, I need to set up more aquariums in a pretty serious way. But let's give them a little food. All right. I apologize again for the camera work. Look at those little fatties go. A little bit more. See. Going nuts. Absolutely going nuts for those baby brine shrimp. Now I'm going to show you the Mika Splendens. They've been eating on a piece of zucchini, which they really love. And I got this real cool uh, vegetable clip, and so I look forward to showing that to you. And uh, it's really, really good. Okay, let's feed uh, one of the tanks of Roebuck Reds. This is the immature male with a young female and a fry. Look at that male. He's coloring up real nice. It's getting beautiful. That tail's going to come in any moment. There's the fry. And I have to decide whether that's a female or a male fry. I'll figure that out. Uh, you know, that one right there, I can't tell right now. Let me see if I lean down again. Bad camera work. Well, as of right now, that's looking to me like it's a female. But we know how this goes. Okay, let's do the, the tank with uh, the three or close to four-month-old Roebuck Reds. Watch them eat. Those females are up there immediately. The male, I, he's just not quite a... Oh, now he's on it. Now he is on it. Drop them a few more. Yeah, they're... Uh, happy little beasties. And again, apologize for the camera work. Alright, now we're going to go over to the other tank and give these guys, because there's so many fry in this one. Now I also go towards the back, because the younger fry t are hanging out in the back of the aquarium. So you can see they're going nuts! Nuts over this baby brine shrimp. And I try to feed four or five times a day. You can see one of the younger fry is in there into the action. He's not, or she's not, they're not, it's not shy. Alright, so let's get, get, go back and see what's going on here. Okay. Oh yeah, look at this. And, uh, let's see what's going on with these guys here. I can give these guys just maybe just a little bit more. Okay. Oh yeah, look at them. They're going bonkers. All right, now I go to the 55 Aquarium, and you'll get a chance to see what we do there. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm over here. I have to lift the top. So, you keep the camera going here. And here's how I do this. Because it's... Uh, see that? A whole bunch of... Uh, brine shrimp all over the place. So I'll put this down here. We'll watch these eat for a moment here. Those uh, long fin leopard danios are terrific. Aren't they gorgeous? And you were also getting to see, hopefully you're getting a good view and maybe with a little bit of glare at the celestial pearl danios. They're coloring up really, really nice. There's, look at that one. Let's see if I can get a better shot of him or her. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, and we'll see what's going on over here with these guys. And I'll feed them their item. I'll show you what that is. And they go bonkers over these briquettes. And there's a beautiful uh, fire red shrimp. And let's see here. I, I apologize for the boxes on the floor. But here's Bolo. Hey, Bolo. Sit. Sit. Uh, he wants to... Oh, yeah. Sit. Oh, now he wants to be petted. You see? Uh, yeah, he's a good dog. So here are the Amica Splendens on this veggie, and I have a clipped veggie in here. I'm going to have to yank this out later on tonight. I usually leave them in for about 48 hours, and I got this clip. Look at the fatties here. Look how wonderfully fat they are. They're just, yeah, they're doing really well, and I'm not giving them anything extra except for that. Let's see. We'll go back here and take a quick look at the guppies, and I'll show you what I, I'm giving to the Danios, not the Danios, the Corys, uh, the Super Reds, and, uh, and the Snails. Snails love it as well, and it's one type of shrimp wafer. So, yeah, look how beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Thanks, Doug Gray and, uh, and Alan Bias for selling me these great, great guppies. Just gorgeous. Yeah, I have aquariums to set up. Okay, these puppies right here by Tetra, the shrimp wafers, let me tell you something. These people go nuts for them. So I'm going to drop I'm going to drop one in over here. See if we can get a look. And uh, let me set this down cuz I I need to do this with two hands. And you're going to see the piece of zucchini down here I put on a fork. They ripped this out of there, the snails did. I'm going to have to get that later on today. But you can see the, the fire red shrimp, everybody's going nuts for it. So let me drop this in. And let's see, we'll hang out here for a moment. Let me tell you what, the snails on this, once they find this, they go bonkers and that's why I've become a new fan of snail eradication oh here comes a Cory yeah he's on it or she's on it he's eating around there I'm guessing finding baby brine shrimp that may have hit the bottom Yeah, they love this, as you can tell. Love it. And I'm actually surprised the super red uh, pleco hasn't shown up. Now, shrimp, the fire red shrimp, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five right now, which is great. So let's uh, 
Uh, here comes a second Corey. And I see a third one on the way. Once the Super Reds figure out it's here, everybody's off of it until they're done. So. See, they love, love, love this. They go nuts over it. Now I have three more of those quarries that are somewhere around here. The other uh, video that came out on Sunday, you saw all of them. So, gets a 55 aquarium, and they're they're close to being the same color as the substrate. Here come the albinos. Uh, the albino. Uh, Corydoras Aeneas. So there's our super. There's one super red, two super reds. Oh, there's a shrimp. Oh yeah, look who look who's over here already. Super red right on the on top of this. They love them, love them a lot. I'm feeding them like little piggies. So I'm getting more of the super red uh, uh, pleco, and I can't wait. And the fire red uh, shrimp. I may pick up some more of that for fish auction coming up. So I may pick up some more up there. Again, thanks for watching Mob Guppy, where the guppy is the mob. And we will see you Saturday night. Join the mob today, where the guppy's the mob. Where that super red is a beast. A beastie super red. Let me see if I can get a better close-up on here. So I can't get it closer. I got these at about an inch. They're now they've got to be about two inches now. I'm guessing. And the other super reds. This one's dragging it. Is just dragging it its way. Over here are the two other super reds next to the shrimp cave. Everybody gets along really well in this aquarium, as you can see. The white pieces that you see are a couple of pieces of crushed coral. Uh, 